So as you can see, my hair looks a hot mess. <laughs> That's because I only sleep on a satin pillowcase with like nothing in my hair at all. I hate to have it tied up because my scalp is really sensitive. So yeah, I just sleep on a satin pillowcase at night. And when I wake up to refresh it, I just like to use a spray bottle of water and then just use a little bit of coconut oil to detangle my hair. And what I'm doing now is just fluffing it out, trying to mold it to whatever style I'm doing that day, which is going to be a high puff because to be honest, that's my go-to style. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just brushing it up into the direction that I want it to go in. And now I'm just grabbing my handy dandy shoestring, which is what I like to use for my puffs. Um, sometimes I'll use that like a large headband, but I think the shoestring is better just because I can adjust the tightness since, like I said, my scalp is really sensitive. AKA I'm tender headed. <laughs> And I'm um, adding a bit more coconut oil just to moisturize the back of my hair. It just depends on what my hair needs. Sometimes I'll use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. You know, it just depends. You gotta listen to your hair. Yeah, this is what it should look like if you want a more defined look then I would recommend using gel or like a curling defining cream but I just wanted it to be big and poofy and now I'm just using my favorite edge control it's by the brand curls it's the blueberry control paste I think that's what it's called yeah it just makes your style look a lot neater and clean Okay, so onto the makeup, I like to start with using a hydrating primer, and this is by the brand L. And now I'm just filling in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It's my favorite thing to use for my brows. And this is another staple of mine. I'm using the brow gel by Maybelline. It just helps to keep my brows in place because my hair is curly, my eyelashes, everything. All right, so now I'm doing my foundation. I honestly like to keep my makeup natural so I still look like myself. <laughs> now I'm just adding some concealer to cover up my dark spots slash blemishes. powdering my face using a matte powder so I don't look too greasy and now I'm just gonna bathe myself in the champagne pop highlighter because I live for this highlighter it's like perfect for my skin tone gives me the perfect highlight I highly recommend <laughs> I 
as you can see here i was like wtf <laughs> because my eyelashes are so freaking curly it doesn't even make sense for me to use mascara i still do it anyway though because i'm not about to wear fake lashes not that there's anything wrong with fake lashes but i just can't wear them more than like a few hours <laughs> I always have to mess with my eyes and I wear contacts and glasses so it just doesn't make sense to me I mean but they look bomb on everybody else and now I'm just prepping my lips using the MAC lip liner in the color oak because I'm gonna be using a I forgot what I was about to say <laughs> I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Matte Lipstick in True Brown K. And I'm sorry guys but my camera died as soon as I finished this clip but this is what it should look like like a natural makeup with a chocolate lip Yeah. Hey.